हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे विल डिस्कस नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ वेंटिलेटर ग्राफिक्स फ्लो वॉल्यूम लूप सो व्हाट आर द थिंग्स वी कैन सी इन द फ्लो वॉल्यूम लूप इज पीक इंस्पिरेटरी फ्लो रेट और पीक एक्सपिरेटरी फ्लो रेट वी कैन सी एयर ट्रिपिंग वी कैन सी एयर लीक एयर वे सिक्रेशंस ब्रोंकोस्पाज्म और इंक्रीज एक्सपिरेटरी रेजिस्टेंस ट्रैकियोमेलिया और ट्रैकियल स्टेनोसिस सो दिस इज द फ्लो वॉल्यूम लूप सो हियर वी कैन सी दैट ऑन एक्स एक्सिस इज द वॉल्यूम in ml on y axis is the flow liter per minute with increasing flow with increasing flow there is increasing volume is there increasing volume is there and after reaching this tidal volume this has reached tidal volume expression has started after expression flow is decrease flow is negative and volume is decreasing and reaching to the baseline so this is the inspiration and this is the expression positive is the inspiration and negative is the expression but in some ventilator it could be opposite also it could be like positive will be expression and negative will be inspiration so we have to see that what type of ventilator is there but here we are taking above the baseline is inspiration below the baseline is the expression so first we can see the peak inspiratory flow so here is flow, flow is increasing here it's raised reached to the peak inspiratory flow so this is the peak inspiratory flow then coming to the expression here it is reaching to peak expiratory flow this is the peak expiratory flow rate so peak inspiratory flow rate and peak expiratory flow rate that we can see in this graphic in flow volume loop we can see the air trapping also so in air trapping what will happen that expiratory curve will not reach to the zero so it will end here so in air trapping this much air trapping is happening so expiratory curve does not reach to the zero this much air trapping trapping is happening in this curve next here we can see the air leak also if there is any air leak is there peritubular leak or air leak syndromes are there then we what will happen this is inspiration during expiration curve will return to the baseline earlier so this will return baseline early it is ending here only so this much tidal volume has lost so this much tidal volume has lost this tidal volume is not returning in expiration so this much air leak is there so this this is the air leak and in air trapping that curve will not return to zero and here curve is returning into the baseline earlier so this is the difference between air leak and air trapping next if any airway secretions are there then how it will look like like in expression this expiratory curve will become zigzag so after this expression curve will become zigzag this tells that airway secretions are there and some tube secretions are there so we have to do suction so this is very important in an icu next we can see the bronchospasm or increased expiratory resistance also like in bpd babies there will be bronchospasm will be there so how it will look like in this so in during expression this is blue one is the normal curve ex normal expression and this is the bronchospasm so bronchospasm is what's happening the peak expiratory flow rate has reduced here this much peak expiratory flow rate was normal in this curve but during bronchospasm this peak expiratory flow rate has reduced okay so graph has become smaller and this expiratory curve will reach to the baseline very slowly very slowly it will go like this here it has reached very rapidly so here peak expiratory flow rate will reduce and expiratory time will increase the graph will reach to the baseline very slowly here we can see the effect of bronchodilator also so if bronchospasm is there graph will be like this after nebulization or bronchodilation the graph will become like this so effect of bronchodilators we can see here that that will confirm that bronchospasm was there and after bronchodilation graph has become normal so if tracheomalacia is there so in what will happen in during inspiration and expiration both curves will be zigzag both will be like crumbled this will look like in tracheomalacia zigzag pattern in both inspiratory and expiratory curve 
if any airway obstruction is there like tracheal stenosis subglottic stenosis some severe obstruction is there then what will happen graft will become smaller so both inspiratory and expiratory both graft both curves will become smaller so this is the normal graft you know normal this is during tracheal stenosis graft will become smaller everything will be reduced peak expiratory flow rate peak inspiratory flow rate and this graft size will reduce this tells about some obstruction is there so these are the things there that we can see in the flow volume loop thank you